what's up guys <laughs> so today i'm gonna be talking about five ways to make your life ooh, i'm gonna be talking about shoot what i call it five ways to live a happier life and some of these i need to work on some of them i have learned and which is why i'm putting them in here and i think this would just be a good idea because we can all use some happiness in our lives <laughs> obviously but it's okay so the first one i'm gonna be talking about is you need to stop caring about what other people think and like this is something that I struggle with a lot and I still like care a lot about what other people think which I shouldn't but you know what putting my YouTube channel out there is something that it's my little first step to like not caring what other people think and also doing this in public is also another huge step about not caring what other people think Grant's here in case you see him sometimes but uh yeah and I feel like you just live a happier lifestyle with that I've met so many people that are just so chill and literally just don't care what other people think and they are like some of the just like the happy like go-getter like just do whatever they want that's the ultimate goal so if you can try and just like even if you do care and just tell yourself that you don't like that's something not caring what other people think is going to be one way that you can just live a happier life and just not uh not worry so much you know what i mean just like be you and do yourself and like that'll get you a lot of places and to be happier uh, number two is gonna be living for the small stuff. What I mean for that is like literally just like taking in consideration like the small stuff and just like making those little things like your little joys. Like for instance, before school, if I was at work and I would get tips like in cash, then I would save them up and then I would pick like one or two days out of the week for school to go get an iced coffee because I love coffee. And for me, that was just something small that like made me happy before school and it just made me feel like I was having a good day if I got my coffee in the morning. And it's just something so small, but it's like literally finding those small moments that like add up to your day and just make it good and just focusing on those rather than anything else and make you a very happy person. And like that's another thing that people don't really take into consideration anymore but they need to because it's the small things that add up to the big things all right this next one's gonna sound kind of weird but it's gonna be doing things for yourself and honestly that's so true because in the end you're gonna have like yourself and no one else there so what i mean by doing things for yourself is you're gonna have to just cut people out of your life and like that's okay if it's gonna be beneficial for you then you should do it um, I've definitely learned that a lot and I've definitely from middle school till now I have definitely gotten a lot better about doing things for me and not to try to please other people or to be a part of a group and like doing stuff for them rather than myself so I feel like that is something that I really learned um, a little story for you is that one time when I was in middle school I was friends with this one girl and she bullied me for these shoes that I would wear and I had no idea why so I stopped wearing them for a while and then I finally started wearing them again and then this girl was like, oh my god, those are so cute, why don't you wear them? And I was like, you're literally the reason why I stopped wearing them. So I feel like just that little story right there, a little instance of just not caring and doing things for yourself. Like if I like those shoes, then I should have just worn them. And I feel like that's something that I do now, is that my style has changed up a lot. Like I wear these, my band, white bands and my Nike socks are my favorite things to wear. So I feel like just changing up my style and not caring what other people think is something that's really big so just doing stuff for yourself you know be selfish right grant yeah be selfish if you're not selfish who else is going to take care of you because then you're just making everybody else have to do it for for you you're not doing it for yourself exactly so just do stuff for yourself and it's okay to just put yourself first because you know like that's what you need to do sometimes and it's okay to just do things for yourself or just like stay home and just have like a little self-care day you know it's okay to do things for yourself because in the end that's all you're gonna have wow this freaking loud plane <laughs> another thing that i have learned lately is to just live in the moment and that's been something that's hard um because i think we get so caught up in like taking photos or videos or just like trying to act cool but like honestly if you live in the moment you'll have such a better life i really have like taken into consideration of things and i've really stopped and just like thought about like where i am like what i'm doing and how cool this is rather than trying to take the cool photos or whatever so I feel like just living in the moment and like going whatever is going on is such a great thing just thinking about how like you have this moment and it's gonna like pass can't relive it again so I feel like just taking in every moment you have and just really experiencing it and like really thinking about it will really help you have a happier life because you're just thinking about all the good things that are going on and how grateful you can be for even the smallest things that are going on in your life Shoot, I'm about to run out of video. I mean, out of, oh, my camera light is flashing. Okay, I'll do the last one fast. 
The Shoot. battery? Yes. All right, my camera light is flashing, so if I have to finish this off in a different location, that's why. But I'm gonna talk fast. So my last thing is gonna be living with no regrets and really just doing stuff for you and taking the risks. So I feel like whenever I have gone out of my comfort zone and done stuff is really when I have the best time of my life. Like literally uploading this, my first YouTube video, even if I got like my first like little 10 subscribers, I was so happy. Like I cannot even explain to you how happy I was for having 10 subscribers. I feel like just taking risks and like just doing things out of your comfort zone will literally have you living your best life. I remember I went to Blue Hole once, which is like this lake thing, and I did a backflip there and I was so excited even though I was so scared to do it, but it's like just taking these small little risks add up and like you just do things that you never thought you were able to do. Like cross country is something that was like the hardest thing mentally and physically that I've put myself through and I can make a whole other video about that. But literally just pushing yourself to do things that you think you can't do is one of the greatest things you can because you are so much better and stronger and like you can do so many more things than you think you can. You honestly are your biggest enemy because you hold yourself back like literally just mentally telling yourself that you can't do things really just sucks and like it does hold you back from a lot of things you could be experiencing so just taking risks and like putting yourself out there will have you living a way happier life yeah anything else to add grant no, that's it. there are these freaking little wasps i literally hate bees more than anything in my entire life i hate them so much i would not care if they all ah! <laughs> example a <laughs>